Welcome back. Starting part two of the 2019 Ranger Overlanding build on the channel. And today I have a special guest. Hi. Lisa and Lisa's truck. So uh, today starts the big major upgrades. So let's see what we got going on. on the truck and first thing we're going to do is the truck came with a factory Ford plastic drop-in bed liner which I hate um, these things they just scratch the paint underneath there so first project we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a do-it-yourself Herculiner roll-in bed liner kit just gonna do the floors and probably the tailgate I'm gonna leave the sides of it alone I think because I have some ideas I'm making the mounts for like the air tank, the roto pack, stuff like that. So we're going to get started because uh, we got big things planned for this. We are picking up some major parts for this in the next 24 hours. So are you excited? Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're going to do it. Let's go. All right, step one, pull this garbage out. And just like I thought, I mean, all the paint scratched right down to bare metal everything is just scuffed to hell so definitely a good call pull this out we'll get all this cleaned up wash it up real good and then uh, i'll just kind of mask put a, a tape line down on where the bed liner will go and i think up on the sides here we'll just leave we'll leave all that factory paint and we'll do something like down along here maybe up on the wheel well and across i think that'll be good enough be good protection but now we got easy access. We have hold downs there. We have hold downs in the back corners. And then we're going to do the two track systems. Matter of fact, let me grab that. Let me throw that down and see how that's going to fit. Okay, so there's the track system we got. Got all the adjustable. Comes with four hoops. These are here. Just got to decide on how wide. I think I want to maybe move them in each like one rib. I think that would be good. I don't know how wide. We haven't even picked out a refrigerator or nothing yet. But we don't get a fridge. We have a cooler at least. Maybe I'll just mock it up with a cooler just for now. So that's what we'll be putting in there. And then we'll getting get this all cleaned up and get it coated. Okay. We got a tape line all the way around. That's going to be where the bed liner is going to go. Some scotch bright pads. Somebody out here doing some hard labor. Hit the high spots with the DA that took it down pretty quick. The rest we're just doing by hand. Well, then we're gonna blow it all out, wipe it down, let it dry, and then mix it up. All right, it is all blown out, cleaned up, and wiped it all down with some wax and grease remover. And we're gonna send it. I'm gonna roll it out next. What do you think? There we go, first coat going down. It's pretty good. Not too much work. <laughs> All right, continuing on. Cool. And we got two coats down. This turned out really good. I don't think it's gonna need a third coat. I only used half of the gallon that came with the kit. So I think I'm gonna hold off right there we're gonna let this dry overnight, peel the tape, and uh, it gives me some leftover if I gotta touch it up or whatever. So I still have to mount those track rails there to the floor, so I gotta check underneath the bed, see if there's anything in the way, before I start drilling holes through it. So, looking real good. But, also today, went and visited 589 Fab and picked up the bed rack for the truck and I am super impressed with this thing. This thing is beefy. It's all steel, nothing aluminum. So it's got some uh, it's got some beef to it. So after all this uh, bed liner sets up and dries, I will go ahead and 
install that and we'll uh, see what this looks like once it's all done. Super excited to see this. And there it is, the tape all peeled. We decided we wanted to leave the red up on the sides. Just protect the bottom where we're going to be sliding stuff around. So it's going to turn out pretty good. I like it. All the gear, everything we're going to put in the back of this, since I just leveled the truck in the front, I want to see how much this weight's going to affect the ride height in the back to see if I'm going to have to address that with either some kind of a block or a better shock or a lift shackle they're making now. So I'm going to take a measurement. I'm going to start right now. Nothing's in here. See what the height of the, the ride height is in the back here. Make note of that. And then as I start adding stuff to the truck, I'm going to see how it's affecting it and changing everything. So... Right now, right to the center of the wheel, to the bottom of the fender flares, 38 and a half inches. Remember that. Maybe I should write it here in the dirt. No, I'm just kidding. 38 and a half inches. Okay, here we have the bed rack from 589 Fab right here in Michigan. This is a nice piece. There are the crossbars. Adjustable, we have the side supports, and what I really love about these is the way he built it to bolt to the bed rails, which is going to, after seeing uh, his truck in person, it's actually even better than I thought, because the bracket is going to actually come out almost completely off of the plastic, so the tonneau cover, we should have zero issues with that. So, uh, hey, Percy, you mind? So anyway, um, they are heavy. Like I said, this is all steel. Got some real nice textured powder coat on them. And uh, these are cheaper than any other uh, racks out there I've found. So I am super impressed so far. So let's get this on here. I'm going to get the, uh, the side rails bolted on first. And then I will go ahead and put our tonneau cover back on. And then get everything all lined up and cinched down. Okay. Okay, so I got the bed rail plates on. I just went ahead and I centered them on the bed rail. It's eight and a half inches from there, eight and a half inches there, both sides. These things are real nice the way they sit on here. Nice thick plate. And you can see on that side, so there's gonna be a, these other, it's like a sandwich plate right here. That is gonna get bolted on the back side of that and it's going to pinch the uh, the factory bed rail. That's what's going to hold it all down. So let's get that part on here. All right, so there that is bolted down. You can see the way that plate gets pushed up to the bottom side of the bed rail and pinches the metal for the bed. Very sturdy. Looks real good. Let's get the other side done now. Okay, so far, tonneau cover still fitting. Got lots of room there. So got some nuts and bolts to put in here. Looks real good. When I roll it up, it's still the height for the roll is only about that tall. So it should still fit underneath the crossbar. So uh, let's throw a couple more of these side brackets on and keep test fitting. So far, I'm loving it. Bam, there it is. Everything's just kind of loosely bolted sitting together. Love that. Looks real good, I love the height. So clearly our Smittybilt tent is gonna stay below the roof line of the truck, which is freaking awesome. Looks good. Even looking through the back window, she's not uh, intruding into the rear vision too much. So, so next test is roll up the tonneau cover. See if I can get it to roll all the way back. Reaching it from the sides here might be a little difficult, but let's uh, let's see how that goes.
Let's see if I can actually get the tonneau cover to roll up. Because that was the whole point of this thing. So, let's see. So it's down. Pop, pop. Good. So hopefully with the, uh, the tent on here, I'm going to have to have a little bit of room to roll it this way, or I guess someone could crawl in here and roll it that way. But let's keep going, see if it clears. It's getting bigger. <laughs> Look at that. Outstanding. Super happy. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to have a bed rack that would clear the tonneau cover, still be able to roll it up, unroll it, whatever we wanted to do with it. Way to go, man. 589 Fab. Good shit. So the only, the only, I'm not going to call it a bad part, but the only modification really I had to do for all this to work is the the three clamps that hold the tonneau cover on obviously with that big pinch plate there in the middle for the for the roof rack you can't evenly space out the clamps that hold down the tonneau cover so i put the one up front and then i just spread these two out in the back here you know as far as i could even with just one in each corner just four total i don't see this thing coming off it's only a five foot bed i don't I don't see any problem with it blowing off as long as these clamps stay tight, even with four. But I put the six on, just got the two in the rear. That should be perfectly fine. So, um, I mean, that's really the only uh, alter, you know, the thing I had to alter with, you know, making everything work together. So, completely fine, completely happy with that. Yeah, I don't need to wash this thing. So it wasn't light. So every step of the way, I'm going to take a measurement and see how it's affecting the ride height of the truck. The original measurement was, what did I say, 38 and a half. So with the bed rack installed, we are now at 38 and a quarter. It actually dropped the back of the truck a quarter of an inch with this weight. Plus I got a fire extinguisher sitting up there too that's going to get mounted. So we've already lost a quarter of an inch. So... Let's keep rolling and keep adding stuff. All right, and now we have a automotive style fire extinguisher mounted on a quick release right there in the side of the truck. Out of the way, handy in case we have any kind of campfire or get out of control. Okay, now I have the aluminum track system bolted down to the floor. I use all stainless hardware through the floor. Double check the back side before you go drilling holes. It's all clear right here on this side of the truck up there. It's where the gas tank is. So what I elected to do is we'll just offset it to this side. And this will work good for if we mount a fridge or a cooler right here, we can stack a couple things behind it. We can get more of these little uh, slot, they're removable. You can get some more of them uh, hold down hoops. Then on this side, we can just put storage totes or uh, possibly bags. I think I'm leaning more towards uh, storage bags. Go soft so it's quieter and it'll just store, I think, a little bit easier that way. And then I'm holding this corner off over here. That's where I'm going to mount the power tank. I'm just waiting for the mount to come in so it might not make it into this video. But right here somewhere, I don't know if it's going to go... Vertical or horizontal, but the power tank is going to go there. So, we've got pretty good layout for storage back here. I'm pretty happy. We still have access to all six of the uh, little tie-down rings. We have these. So, I think we're good. Pretty happy. All right. Okay. So, just a little preview how that'll work. There's the tracks. Got little hold down loops. Can run bungee cord, ratchet straps over that. Can stack as many more behind it as I want. Add more little uh, catches for them. 
that'll work really good. Gives me room right here for the power tank and hoses and accessories for that. And then uh, I got all this side right here for extra storage. Who knows, sleeping bags, pillows, food, whatever we want. And then it's a little preview. So right here, that is where I'm gonna drill holes through the bed to mount the little uh, little power distribution panel there. We'll have an on-off switch, 12 volt charge, and then a couple USBs and then a 12 volt uh, voltmeter. So we can keep track of the battery charge in the truck. I'll tap into down near the uh, trailer wiring for that. So just want a little uh, little extra something back here in case. Uh, well, I'm sure eventually we will get rid of a cooler and go to a fridge. So I'll be able to just plug a fridge right into that over there. And while the truck is uh, running or going down the trail, she'll keep her charged up. So that's probably going to do it for now. I'm kind of at a standstill here with, I don't want to drill through that bed there until I can uh, I get some assistance here. I want to have somebody throw up a piece of plywood on the uh, inside of the fender there. I don't want to poke through, you know what I mean? So, so this is all I can do for now. So this will probably wrap this. Maybe if I can get some help, get that tent on here. I really want to see what that looks like on there. But this might be it right now. All right, all right. All right, well, that's going to conclude this part of the project in this video. Tried to get the uh, rooftop tent up there, and uh, there's just no way. A little too heavy to get up there solo. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, rig up a little pulley system and just hang the rooftop tent from the rafters in the garage here so it can be a one-person operation. But there it is. Truck's looking pretty good. Like the rack, we're going to leave it on here for a, for a little bit. Let her get used to driving it with that uh, being in her vision back there. I know once the tent goes on, you ain't going to be able to see nothing anyway, but I guess that's what backup cameras are for. So hopefully the next video will include the power tank mount in the back, getting the electrical done in the bed, and we'll uh, hopefully have the, the tent up there so we can uh, do that little uh, test fit and trial run and uh, take another measurement to see how much more the uh, back of the truck's going to drop down. And then I'll decide whether I'm going to do anything to the rear suspension to compensate for that. So, so that's a wrap. This is it. Part two complete. Stay tuned for more if you like it.